Lagos court expecting that the Igbo should be extradited back to Nigeria. Let me confirm, for those of you that are worried, Igbo will not attend any meetings with any king in Lagos State. As the spokesman, I repeat again, Dr. Chief Sunday Bowo will not be going to Nigeria for whatever meeting. Any meeting with Igbo will be held outside Nigeria, and that will be with the United Nations involved, the European Union, the African Union, and many other of the committees of the Yoruba self-determination. And that will be outside Nigeria, not even in Benin Republic. For many Yoruba that are worried and concerned that there is a meeting that has been called on November 7th, I can officially tell you that Igbo has no reason to attend such meeting. The meeting can be done without Igbo being involved or getting closer to where the venue of the meeting is. But since they are aware that Igbo will not be attended, they are now putting out all kind of allegation against my principal and the one that believe in self-determination. Let me read this quickly. And I can tell you that no other single press have picked on this story because they know that if they do, we will push to make sure that they are not just going to be facing the consequence in Nigeria. We will be taking them to the court outside Nigeria, just as we have done with the former president, Muhammadu Buhari, that is currently under the International Criminal Court. It might take a while, but we hope that Buhari will be alive with many other that have done crime against Igbo to try to assassinate him and kidnap many that were living with him at the time. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, share with your friends to have access to this kind of content that you have here. Don't forget to subscribe. I love and respect you. I'll be right back. Breaking. Alleged $420,000 fraud. Caught orders extradition arrest of Sunday Igbo. That is a catchphrase headline. Because any Yoruba person that sees this kind of headline will automatically get a little bit concerned. And we can tell you that there's nothing to be worried about. First and foremost, Igbo is a billionaire and he has his account has been closed. Well, not closed, but he has not had access to his account since 2021 after the assassination of his life. As we speak today, not even President Bola Ametinobu has ordered that Igbo's account should be released. That tells you that there is something skeptical about the federal government and Igbo. Igbo is worth more than $420,000. But let's read through so that we can understand why this article is only coming up on one website. We've not seen it on other websites or any other news network. But I've picked another conversation with another YouTube account that I'll be telling you after I've played the video. Let me use this opportunity to warn in advance that any organization, and I'm speaking again on behalf of my principal, Dr. Chief Sunday Bo, as a spokesman, any media, online and offline, that tried to put a narrative of Igbo in a negative way, knowing fully well that you can reach out to me to confirm. We will sue you, not only in Nigeria, but under the International World Court. So be prepared for a lot of loss of any and damage to your reputation, because we will make sure that the world that you want to portray Igbo as criminal already knows that Igbo is not a criminal. Igbo was only fighting for the right of his people. And that right means that as we speak tonight, he is someone that remain the person that he was 10, 20 years ago. But you will not put a narrative of fraud or other conspiracy. We know how the federal government operates. Bring one or two people and label them as part of the skip or the scheme that Igbo was involved in a crime. Let me remind the federal government that your crime against October 20 of the killing of the NSAS is still under international limelight. You will not change the narrative of the crime against the Yoruba that Buhari killed 29,000 Yoruba people. We have gone past anything you can do to bring Igbo's name down. But what we will do is, we will come out to let the world know the exact reason why we say we can no longer live in the same country where intimidation and many reasons that the world needs to know like i said the letter on the 12th is still a big concern to the federal government and the criminal sultan of shokoto that thinks that it can use the arab country to push the agenda because i've just seen another article that the north paid a courtesy visit to olushegun of basanjo the former president of federal republic of nigeria and let me say this clearly Olusegun Basanjo does not represent any one of us under this mission of quest to self-determination. 
he has every right to claim whatever he wants to claim. But I'm going to come back to that. But just take note of this headline. Obasanjo disclosed these when he received a 20-member delegation league of the Northern Democrat that was led by the former governor of Kano State, Alaji Ibrahim Shakiru, or Shakiru, at his penthouse inside Olusegun Obasanjo Presidential Library, Abekuta. I am a better as a Nigerian than in Odua Republic. Igbo's letter that was delivered is not Igbo's letter. Igbo only delivered the letter on behalf of millions of Yoruba people. I'll come back to Obasanjo. That game is pushed by the Saudi and the Arab country to continue to push the North to find credible leaders within the Yorubas. Maybe we should ask Obasanjo, the ex-president who killed Uncle Bola Ige. While under his nose, the chief justice of Nigeria was killed, not just killed, murdered in his house in Ibadan. Till date, Obasanjo has a lot of questions to answer, and I believe we should be asking him that question. Let's go back to the article that put Igbo in the limelight in the last couple of hours that many of you must have seen and many of you are concerned. Again, it came as a breaking. The question is, what is breaking about this news? It is not the breaking. It is the character of the person involved put Igbo and add fraud and add other things to it and get all manner of fraudulent court injustice, court justice or whatever from Lagos State. We know that Lagos State could not give us the conclusion of those that were killed during the NSARS. But as we know, all the judges, quote and unquote, most of them are corrupt. So if any judge is putting an extradition treaty on Igbo, you should be prepared to have your name also sent to the International Criminal Court. Maybe we should find out a little bit more about whoever the judge is. Let's read this article quickly. A Lagos court has ordered the extradition and the arrest of a self-styled Yoruba nation agitator, Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Gowo, according to the City News Nigeria report. A Lagos federal high court has ordered the arrest and the extradition of a self-styled Yoruba freedom fighter, Sunday Gowo, popularly called Sunday Gowo, over alleged fraud of $420,000, 660000 Other affected by the extraction an arrest order is one Kumi Olusegun Francis, who was alleged to have conspired with Igbo to commit the alleged infractions. Justice Ambrose Luis Alago, who is the one that has given these according to the article, who preceded, presided rather over the court, made the order on Monday squirrel to an expert motion that was brought before the court by the operatives of the First Criminal Investigation Department, Annex Alagmo Iko Lagos. The first CID true barrister S.O. Ayodele, a legal officer in his legal department, has specifically asked the court for the following orders an order of honorable court to issue warrant of arrest against the defendant and respondent in order to secure the appearance in court, an order directing the police to declare the defendant and respondent want by publishing their names in the police bulletin gazette. The same tactics that Buhari used in 2021, they are trying another tactics to hope that whenever Igbo travels around the world, they can pin him down. But like I said, we are also waiting because the federal government is coming to the end of Nigeria with all their steps because the international community knows that Igbo is not and has never been a criminal. And that is why he's been given a full humanitarian support in Germany where he lives with his wife and children. Many Nigerians need to understand that the federal government is the criminal that has allowed the crime against humanity. We're not just talking about the economy. We're talking about security of the Boko Haram that the military could not stop. Yet, they are hoping that they can put and label Igbo as a criminal. And for such order or other orders as the Honorable Court may deem fit to make in the circumstances of this case, in urging the court to grant the orders, Barrister Ayodele told the court that the motion for the orders was a pursuant to Section 113.114 of the Administration of the Criminal Justice Act 2015 extradition modification order 2014 and the federal high court extradition procedure rules 2015 and under the court in Eritan jurisdiction. He told the court that the motion was supported with affidavit of nine paragraphs disposed to by Muhammad Usman, a chief superintendent of police, another full animal, take note of that name, who led the team that investigated the alleged crime. So you can see the game that is being played out. Put a full animal and use a Yoruba court and Yoruba judge to put a warrant arrest and put a libel against Igbo War just as it was played during Awula War. And I hope the Yoruba people are taking note of all these because you might say it is nothing because you disagree with Igbo War, but the Fulani agenda 
is cracking quicker than we might think. If we do not stop the Fulani agenda on Yoruba soil, it could be you that they will be wanted by the Fulani in your own own land. You might not like what we do, you might disagree with it, but it could be your children that the Fulani will deal with when the time comes. But that will not happen because the end of Nigeria is gradually cracking through the hole that has been sealed for 110 years of the fraudulent amalgamation. He also told the court that the motion is attached with a written address some documentary exhibit which includes a two-count charge of obtained by false pretense and stealing of goods worth the mentioned amount. He urged the court to grant the motion in the interest of justice. Justice? Did I just hear justice? We're looking for justice for Bamishi. We're looking for justice for Tulu Parutili. But Lumi, we're looking for justice. We're looking for justice for Daddy Yati. Now, no one knows where he is right now. Millions of Nigerians are looking for justice for crime against humanity by the federal government, both present and past. I'm surprised that I'm hearing the word justice. So if there's going to be justice, the justice is to dissolve Nigeria now before it is too late. Because the end of Nigeria is gradually coming true. Then, Justice Lewis Alago, after listening to the police lawyer submission, held that the application has merit on other criminal judge. When we tell you that Nigeria is a crime scene, I'm sure that this judge has been paid and he has granted on merit after listening to rubbish and garbage. But we know how this plays out. But what we are telling the Yoruba is, we are now in danger. It is not Igbo that is in danger. Because, like I said, Igbo will remain under all eyes of the world on him for the killing and almost killing of himself and also threat to his life. Igbo left United Kingdom without any police interruption. If Igbo was meant to have been picked up, he would have been stopped here in the United Kingdom. But Igbo has returned back to Germany with his family. So Justice Lewis has now allowed Muhammad Usman, a full animal, the chief superintendent of police in Lagos State. You see what we're telling you? I hope you are watching that the game of the Fulani is cracking into every part of Yoruba land. Muhammad Usman is telling a Yoruba judge in Lagos State to put Igbo after listening to their garbage. Justice Louis Algo thereafter adjourned the matter to December 5th. Part of the affidavit in support of the motion read, I, CSP Muhammad Usman, a Fulani man, that probably came to Nigeria with his forefathers from Niger or wherever they come from because we know that Fulani was not part of Nigeria. And look at all the learned Yoruba people around the world sit behind and allow the same thing to be played again by these criminals on our own soil. And for you, you're comfortable with that. For you, that makes you happy that a Fulani man will come to Yoruba land calling himself a CSP. How did he arrive at the CSP when many of our fathers, uncles, well read, are not given the same position as a CSP? We know that if not, that Timobu was in power. We know that there will never have been an IGP that is from the Yoruba side because we know how the game has always been. As I speak to you, the military has denied it, but the rumor is that Lagbaja is dead. I don't have that evidence in my hand. But we know that he's from Oshun State, a Yoruba man. He's only been in office for less than a year and he has been flew out of Nigeria for whatever reason. It shows that the Fulanese are not comfortable even with Tinubu as the president. In as much as you might be excited that you have Yoruba positions occupied, it is only for a very limited time. Just if we allow Nigeria to continue, which would not be, whoever Tinubu put in will all be kicked out as soon as it completes, whether it's four years tenure or eight years. But one thing is, we will not be able to control the knot that is now fully occupied by Fulani. Because the current APC chairman spoke that I heard on video, I'm talking about Gandhi Day, that he is a Fulani man. Have you ever thought about his agenda after Tinubu? Put that in your mind for now. So a Fulani man called Muhammad Usman, known as a CSP, I'm sure he has no qualification. But look at learned Yoruba people that are well read inside Yoruba land. Is it not the same game? That you will be given a particular cut of mark and someone in the north will have the lowest cut of mark and they can get to any university do you still want to be part of nigeria 
you better start thinking because the Nigeria of our dream is no longer the dream again. We should all rise up in support of our quest, especially you, the Yorubas. You will become something else if we do not stand against them. But we will not sit back. And that's why we are doing what we are doing tonight to make sure that we can save you and your family. And your family are all under the threat. I, CSP Mohamed Usman, a police officer attacked the Interpol department that cannot find a criminal terrorist that's terrorizing you. Imagine uh, uh, that a police officer attacked the Interpol department. Many of you have been kidnapped. I'm sure you know someone or you've heard about someone. You want to remind you? Mr. Gbinga Wulabi flew from Maryland, wanted to set up a business. Well, not set up, probably maybe extension. He was kidnapped by Fulani, but this criminal CSP bomb bastard known as Muhammad Usman could not find or trace who was kidnapping Mr. Gwinga Wolabi. Let's take you back to Igogon and many other cases. But he's more happy to put Igogo on extradition, nonsense and garbage. That I am the team leader that investigated a case of fraud and criminal diversion of funds and threat to life against the defendant. Imagine if Fulani man is now telling me to tell Igogo that you are the fraud, criminal. But under Buhari, the former president, 29,000 Yoruba people were murdered and killed. I'm not talking about those that were killed with hunger. I'm talking about those that were killed in their house, killed on their farms, kidnapped. Ransom was paid by the family of Oluwalabi Benga. Ransom was paid by many others. And you know what happened. They were still killed. But since the Yorubas have slept for too long, the Fulanis have now taken over as a CSP under the Yoruba soil. Now, questioning a Yoruba son with a tribal beautiful mark. Do you understand what that means? If they can deal with Igbo with his tribal mark, many of us that doesn't have beautiful tribal mark will be dealt with that you will not survive on that soil if we allow Nigeria to continue. That is the reason why the disintegration of Nigeria is now or never. That by the virtual of my duty, this is a criminal bomb bastard full animal. As the team leader of the investigating team, I am conversant with the fact of the case and that the office of the Aspe assistant inspector general of police of nigeria force criminal investigation department Alagon, that could not investigate the killing of the people during the NSARS, because they knew who was killing the young nigerians with the nigerian flag but he's not interested in that he's more interested in putting Igbo into this discussion that one captain ola alufa whom is the nominal complaint made a statement to the police confirming the content of the petition they are not talking about petition. Remember that it is only 10 days that a letter or petition was dropped at number 10 down the street and they are already concerned. Now they need something to twist around the discussion so that your mind will be far away from what was discussed in the London letter that I don't have privilege to know. But they want now you to be worried and concerned. I will tell us not to be worried. It is just the agenda of the Fulani that is playing out as we speak today. That the Interpol section of the 4CID, another criminal department, Alagbon, is working in conjunction with the Minister of Justice to facilitate mutual legal assistance to repatriate the defendant and respond to enable them stand trial. Do you understand what that means? They want Igbo to be extradited back to Nigeria for trial. They should first go and pick the bomb bastard Muhammad Buhari to come and stand trial for the killings of the Yorubas and the killings of others within Nigeria. Bomb bastard. That it will be in the interest of justice to grant this application to enable the applicant arrest. Now they want to use Lagos court. You are more worried about the king's meeting. There's a lot of king's meeting that is already playing out in these. They know that Igbo is not going to attend any of their rubbish meeting because Elegushi told us clearly that Yoruba are not part of Lagos, that they want to be an independent country of their own, another bomb bastard king. That I dispose to this affidavit in good faith, believing same to be true and in accordance with the oath. What oath? The oath that Buhari did not abide by to protect and secure Nigeria. Rather, Buhari opened the borders and allowed influx of Fulanese to invade Yoruba land and the rest of Nigeria. But many of you that disagree with Igbo will cry if we allow this to continue. And that is the reason why the fight to self-determination must all be all hands on deck. Adeyemo aka Sunday Bo, sometimes in March 2024 in Lagos within the Judicial Division of this Honorable Court did by false pretense. They're talking about March this year. 
Igbo has not stepped foot in Nigeria apart from when he came to visit, I mean, to, to bury his mother. A Yoruba man has been put on exile by Fulanese. And look at Yoruba people all over the world and not doing anything to make sure that that is stopped. It could be you that will be on exile on your own soil. Who owns the soil? We, the Yoruba, owns it. And at the appropriate time, we will deal with the right method of taking back what belongs to us. I have stated clearly that UK does not and would not give you a country. But the process to deamadamate Nigeria have started already. Not today, four years ago. So that is what this letter or this article that I've read. So if you look at the headline, alleged four hundred and twenty thousand dollars fraud, caught other extradition arrest of Sunday Google. Just to summarize, thank you. Bubun Timotin Sobo, that's the work article. Only way a job at Nigeria. Arati ni won okon won bale. Olon de rinje pokon won bale. Tama fi dele liri. Lati ojo me wa seyin. Ti olo ye gbo wo, ti gbi leta wo ijoba UK. Kon she, right sa bie, kon she to ambassador. Lati sofa wa, in tagbi lo si inu le ijoba tibi. Lo to, on lo jege bi representation or representative fun ijoba bi bai. Boko ni etok kakan lati je ki omo yoruba ma mo ri ni pe letter ta gbe lo ko sin kokan to se letter yen that letter was approved by the UK prime minister and the content in to ko sinu e o ti ri ta si ko ba to wa se sere lori bo gbogbo omo yoruba ijoba nigeria won ti wa tu gbe gbogbo ise bi won to ma nse ni ilu eko omo fulani to je csp o lo fe sun ti wo cook o fi kan baba wa lo ye gbo wo pe won wa fun esun 420000 dollars o je ti di dodo pe ko gbe pada wa sile mo wa fe ka foya mo fe ka beru ise lo lori e in to fi se ni pe won mo po mo de ye mo ti mo le so fun gbo mo yoruba gege bi agbenu so e bo ti kuro ni germany o ti kuro ni uk rather iyen leni o je ti pada si germany pelu yawo e atawon to jo wa lati germany e foko yin bale this is Odua TV Watch. Don't forget to subscribe, comment your opinion, like, comment, and share so that other people can get access to what you enjoy on our channel. Thank you. We love you.